Dick Wild 2 is a sequel to the original Wave Bay shooter known for its hard difficulty and creative weaponry, but how about we check how it stacks up to the original, beginning with objective and gameplay. In Dick Wild 2 you will find yourself making it across a river while floating down it on your raft. Each level contains multiple stops where you can purchase heals, weapons, and other stat boosts to help you get through the level. To get currency, you'll be getting it by destroying debris in the river and all the critters that try and stop you as well. The gameplay is your traditional wave-based shooter staple. It will have you shooting tons of enemies while also protecting yourself from projectiles by shooting at them or dodging them. While you're defending yourself from all the critters and debris, you'll be building up a special meter to activate and it'll give an explosive punch to each shot. The overall gameplay is exactly what you're expecting out of a wave-based shooter and frankly speaking, it's a little disappointing. You're just going to be shooting a ton of debris and enemies out of the way, ducking and weaving through projectiles and sometimes shooting those too. Throughout each level, there are gold keys to be obtained by shooting at goldfish that leap out depending on the path you take. That does mean that you will be having to replay certain levels again and again to get all the keys. The keys themselves are used for progressing and unlocking boss levels at the end of each world. You will also be unlocking challenge levels that revolve around you using a new gun in order to unlock it and add it to the shop for purchase. Sadly, these challenges are pretty much the same task of making it to the end of a level alive. And to bring up the multiple paths you can take in Dick Wild 2, Frankly speaking, they all just feel a little too similar, they're just different layouts of the same thing. So it doesn't really add too much to the replayability, at least not for me. Next up, let's start talking features and content. Dick Wild 2 features 3 worlds separated by 6 levels, 4 challenge levels, and 1 boss fight each. There are a total of 4 categories of weapons, pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, and plasma guns. Each category has multiple variations as well, but sadly, they kind of lack the original creativity from the first Dick Wild. Other notable features would be the crossplay multiplayer where you and one friend can go through levels together, and while the majority of enemies tend to be different variations of the same thing, at least they're varied in design. There are also multiplayer hats that you can earn to put on your avatar to stand out. Now, my biggest highlight in terms of content has to be the boss battles, I just really wish there were more of them. Next up, let's move on to visuals and immersion. Visually, Dick Wild 2 has a great cartoon aesthetic and there is still a slight charm to its weapon design and characters, but as someone who played the first, it kind of feels like one step forward and two steps back. Gun design is good and fun looking, but nowhere near as creative as it was in the original. The environments overall are beautiful, but look a little too similar and overused. And when it comes to immersion, it also takes a hit the moment you realize you can just dodge most of the things by leaning side to side. Then on top of that, you have to deal with the fact that you'll just be tapping away at the fire button or holding it down all the time constantly throughout each level. To conclude, Dick Wild 2 kind of just really makes me want to play the original. I was a fairly big fan of the first entry and it was one of the first VR titles I ever played. I myself even enjoy playing wave-based shooters to this day, but it's hard for me to recommend this game over the first unless you have a friend you want to play co-op with. I really hope they introduce more creative weapons such as the ones that were from the original game and introduce different environments to play through. Because as of right now, the game's not worth its asking price when everything just feels a little too repetitive and too similar. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe, check out my latest video below, and next to it you'll see what YouTube thinks you'll like best. I hope you have a great day, and peace.